In this episode, we're going to take a look at the Honda CB300F as part of our uh, daily rider series, the Thailand daily rider series. So, this is obviously not a 2023, it's a 2015. that I was able to uh, to rent. And the specs are similar to the to the new uh, new model. Even though I think this uh, this model is discontinued for 2024 in Thailand, but uh, this should give us a good idea as the weight uh, seat height is all similar. It's a 30.7 30 inch seat height. It is uh, 348 pounds. Uh, I believe 29.5 horsepower. And um, yeah, we'll see what uh, this is going to be like. So let's uh, let's get on it and see if this would be a good option for a daily rider in Thailand. Okay. <laughs> Some friendly people. Friendly Thailand, the land of smiles. It's a beautiful day here too. On the sand here. So first impressions, um, it's a bigger bike than uh, I thought it would be. Um, with my legs tucked back a little bit from behind my knees. Not too bad. Don't like this sand here. It's a naked bike, but um, lean forward a bit so it's got like a sporty stance <clears throat> but the uh, a lot of vibration I don't know if it's like that on a new a new bike, but um, yeah, I feel a lot of vibration through the not only the handlebar but the foot pegs, and the seat. Yeah, especially when you get the uh, RPMs over 5,000, vibration really starts to uh, come through. I don't know what this is. Grease, oil, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see if this is a good alternative to um, a scooter type of motorcycle, which is very popular here. For a daily rider, I mean, it has to have some utility. Um, but really, 
get through the the daily traffic yeah, I guess I would describe traffic in a place like Thailand is a bit more um, chaotic maybe than you would experience maybe in a Western country like USA Canada Europe so you know 300 cc might seem pretty small for a western country but here it's actually on the bigger side so we will see what it's like I don't know how busy traffic will be today but let's see it's usually busy But having that little extra power there, say compared to a, you know, even a 110, 125, 150 cc scooters, the ability to, you know, dart in and out, I guess, of traffic quicker, more maneuverable. So with that, um, I think comes an added uh, degree of safety to some extent, and to get, get you where you want to go all that much quicker. Is this small enough to be able to get through the busy traffic? We will find out. You know, I, when I look at it, it's not really not that much wider, if at all, to be honest, than uh, a lot of scooters, especially the... Uh, even the 150, like a PCX or uh, the 300 certainly, like an X-Max, I mean, but they have a lot of storage. Uh, this bike has, the uh, storage is about non-existent. There's a, really what it amounts to a document holder under the passenger seat. Um, so for storage, uh, as a daily driver, you know, you go get groceries or to have some utility for that, to carry things, then you, know, you can put a carrier in the back and this one has uh, I took it off because it was uh, it was rattling a lot it's very noisy annoying uh, you could put one on the back though certainly uh, without adding to the width so you still re retain that functionality of uh, being able to cut through traffic uh, side bags you wouldn't want to do you're gonna lose that utility Add to the widths and then you're gonna get stuck with the cars anyway, so you might as well be in a car Got the AC and a lot safer in a car That's really why the big advantage I think okay. Yeah, there you go <clears throat> To a motorcycle is the ability to go through the traffic uh, with a motorcycle your commutes about the same time every day no matter what the traffic is in a car you can very wild depending on the traffic as you see here being able to split lanes is key and you can't do that on a wide motorcycle. Yeah, so far I'm feeling, for me anyway, the, the amount of weight on my wrist is more than I would personally like. I'm getting getting to be an older guy now. So these things uh, start to matter a bit more than for a young a young person. So I think yeah, for a younger person this would be uh, probably not an issue, but for me for a longer period of time 
I think I'd like to sit a bit more upright, be more comfortable. But we will see. So the Daily Rider series, like I say, it involves a combination, I guess, of size, maneuverability, at slow speed in traffic. Uh, as well, there are some higher speed roads uh, like, like this one where you can get up to you know, 80, 100K. But we're not looking for something for, for long trips, extended periods. Although I'm sure you could, could do that on something like this. I know people have done it on a lot smaller. But um, I guess comfort, safety even can become issues. This bike, I think, is big enough at 348 pounds. It doesn't get blown around by uh, cars, passing cars or trucks as much as these uh, scooters. The scooters, uh, they have small wheels and uh, fairly stiff suspension, which makes the ride quite choppy. Whereas uh, more like, uh, I guess, proper motorcycle like this, would have more suspension travel, bigger wheels. <clears throat> yeah, the power seems fine. Get through traffic easy. quicker than smaller scooter. I've been driving a Honda Scooby for the last little while, which is 110 cc, which is why um, you know started looking at maybe some alternatives with a larger Larger engine, just a little more, more power. And let's really let this guy figure out where he's gonna go. You see that everywhere, not just, not just here. Yeah, this is um, small enough. I mean, there's that Honda Wave 125, very popular here in Thailand. And uh, this motorcycle, I think, could maneuver through pretty much anything it could. The exhaust does stick out more. But... Um, Really the handlebars are uh, I think close to the same width. Whoa. Yeah, that vibration is um, I mean you feel through the whole body. You get up to like 7,000 RPM and uh, It's significant. Not comfortable at all. So you don't want to be in that kind of RPM for long, that's for sure. This bike has a lot of, um, I don't know if you call it slack, but between on and off throttle, Oh, using the clutch it's it's a lot of like slack seems to get picked up and then you just get jerked like it's hard to explain but I don't know if that's I've seen it before like on some of these other bikes I've rented older bikes but um, um, I don't know if that's 
inherent to the bike or just uh, because it's older. That would be the case on new ones. There's a guy that's uh, blocking traffic here. What the fuck? Jesus. He's going to try to pull a U-turn or what? I think he is. This guy's pulling a U-turn in the middle of the road. I think you've seen it all here, but every day, something new. This is typical driving here. Typical day. Of driving in the city here. I think for power, um, oh, Jesus, um, yeah, it's 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 sufficient for for daily driving here. I don't think it's hard to imagine really needing more. It's it's going to be. One of the faster vehicles on the road here to be honest with you it's all very good I think for power for the city It'd be interesting to see if a larger motorcycle say a 500 or 750 you get in a similar size package you know as far as the width is the key anyway if it's not any wider then um, you know maybe you could find something that works in the city but it's still you could use it uh, for those longer longer trips so a one size fits all I don't know if such a bike exists but that's in this series we're trying to find out. I don't think we'll answer that question today, but So far, so good. It's 
today traffic seems a bit light but still get a bit of a test anyway oh really <clears throat> What? Oh, I guess I can go. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> I didn't realize we had an arrow go straight. There you go. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's some of the maneuverability that you want here. Unless you like sitting in traffic. Yeah, so far it's uh, really oh, garbage truck. No problem. Well, this will be a good task, won't it? people to go straight here I find this uh, motorbike like this this style uh, seems better balanced than say the scooters I think it's where the you know the engine where it's mounted which makes for better driving or easier to drive uh, uh, low speed easier to balance without putting your foot down which um, is good for traffic like this or a city like like I live in um, which seem to do a lot of having the suspension too a little more suspension travel I guess something like this is uh, better you can see how uh, I don't know why they put these sewer access covers everywhere and uh, makes for a pretty, pretty rough ride. But being manual transmission, this is a six speed, it's pretty short gearing. Makes for a bit, bit of a workout, I guess, in traffic like this. That is the one downside, whereas a uh, scooter being automatic uh, is nice for heavy traffic.
but not too bad on this one the clutch is it's not heavy the throttle though is heavier than I would like for this type of driving uh, you know this is in Bangkok if I was doing this like all the time then I think um, yeah I'd be probably leaning more towards a scooter for a city like that oh we got the green light people what are we doing what are we doing But yeah, this is cuts through the traffic fairly nicely. I would say. <clears throat> Always a balance there between your speed, I guess. You went too fast, get you into trouble. Too slow as well. I think sounds nice. I don't know if this is a stock exhaust. Well, it looks like it, but uh, sounds nice. I got, got a bit nervous there. I don't know. It's a bit tight, too tight for him. Which way do we go? These are one of those faster roads I was talking about. I mean, 80 or 100. So to have something that can keep up with traffic, I think is safer than, uh, you know, driving 60, trying to stay uh, off to the side. Whereas a lot of these roads here, they don't, they don't have shoulder, a very wide one. So you really have to be in the lane, which, uh, yeah, I think it'd be a little nerve-wracking when you've got all these uh, cars and big trucks passing you at 80 or 100 and uh, really inches away. So having a motorcycle that can keep up with traffic, I do think, is, is, is safer. And uh, like that Scoopy I was driving, I mean, it can get up to about 80 with me on it, but that takes a while. No problem. Um, 120, you know, for short periods of time, it's the vibration, like I said, on this thing where 
that would make it uncomfortable. It's not, not the speed. Uh, I would probably get a windshield myself to help a bit, but um, it seems perfectly fine, perfectly stable at 100, 100, 110. Not get blown around so much as a uh, you know a smaller motorcycle anyway or scooter good way to carry a tire Let's hope this guy isn't turning. I'm kind of regretting being in this spot right now. There you go. <laughs> Stalled her there. Didn't quite give it enough gas. See the size of that guy's chain. Well, that big guy is just hauling. Yeah, it works out pretty good. There's the PCX, that's a 150. So my final thoughts to wrap up this review of the Honda CB300F are the power is great. It makes passing vehicles and maneuvering in traffic easier and safer. And it also makes driving on the higher speed roads safer because you can keep up with the traffic and not have to drive in the uh, shoulder all the time, if there is one. The size is small enough to weave through traffic, as I've found here on congested roads, and it's large enough that it's uh, more stable at the higher speeds as well. It didn't feel too big or heavy for daily driving here, so that was good. The utility, however, does not compare to a scooter. The storage is basically non-existent, so you have to add a carrier uh, really for almost anything. So would I buy it? Uh, no, uh, but really because of leaning too far forward, uh, there's too much weight on my wrists and it's just not comfortable for me as well with the vibration in the um, mid to higher rpm range makes this motorcycle uh, uncomfortable uh, for me to ride for extended periods of time so for that reason uh, it's not a good option for me and uh, we'll keep looking anyways thanks for watching and take care